uh, good morning so today uh, i am giving the introduction uh, like uh, what is the course name called uh, mule soft where we are using this product like mule soft as a product in the real time world what is the use of this technology uh, what is the advantage all these things which i am going to discuss in today so mule soft is nothing but a integration tool so what is meant by integration so integration is nothing but we have a application b example uh, which is developed by any technology called like uh, java technology and we have a application b the, the application b uh, using the develop the technology called net technology so they both are exchanging the data integration tools are required to collect the data from the application a to transfer the data to the application p so integration tools are mainly sitting in the middle place to collect the data to transfer the data to application p it is not like a simply collecting and transfer the data because java is the technology the purpose is to develop the build the build a web application and dot net is the technology to develop the web applications correct but java syntax behavior communications everything is different and dot net also everything is different but successfully they both are exchanging the data because of integration tools simply collecting and transferring the data there is no point to use of any integration tools okay so if both are different technology if you are exchanging the data integration tools are required to collect the data whatever you are sending to transfer the data to the other applications so, so very simple which you are doing like uh, we are doing the nft transaction consider as a application a using as a icc bank so I, we don't know what kind of technology they are used to build as a icc bank and example consider as a HSC bank application B. And even though application B also, we don't know which technology it was implemented. It was used to implement the HSC bank. But we have successfully transferred the data. So simply when you are entering the, uh, your beneficiary details, submit your details. And once you add the amount and submit your request, successful amount is going to be credited in the HSC bank. Again, HSC bank, amount has been credited we are getting you one notification message your like mobile message as well as your gmail account mobile message nothing but we don't know what kind of mobile network which you are using but you are after entering your mobile number successfully we are receiving a mobile message and a gmail also here you can notice that mobile technology also we don't know which technology it was implemented and Gmail also, we don't know which technology was implemented. But successfully, we are receiving the response. Amount has been credited. Again, mobile text message content is the uh, different. And Gmail content is different. Like a, a different nothing but the structure of the messages. Mobile is the text message. Gmail is the mail format message. Who will take care of all these things? So because of integration tools. Integration tools are independent of the technology any kind of technology which is available in the market if you want to exchange the data integration tool is sitting in the middle place to collect the data and deliver the data to the system it is one to one application or one to many applications so one to many application nothing but like just now i told you that hsc bank amount has been credited the same response we are receiving the more than two applications on like your mobile message your gmail account so more than one message more than one system which you are going to deliver your response that is called one to many like more than one application if you want to deliver integration tools are coming into the picture to collect the data and transfer the data to the system so this is one of the reason like people are using the product called integration only. So without integration tool, can we implement the same kind of mechanism? Yes, there is a limitations only. So we cannot implement the 100% uh, of 
to integrate applications. What is the limitations of it? Example, if we want to integrate more application using point to point. So point to point nothing but a one to one application, like one application to other application nothing but a point to point. So if we want to exchange one application to other application, limitation is only one to one applications. But nowadays, when you open any web application, so internally, n number of applications are communicating. Finally, we are receiving one response. Consider as a, your online shopping cart application. Very simple, which you are using very frequently. Example, even if we are logging to the Amazon application and you are selecting the product, finally, you are uh, entering the card details and amount uh, payment confirmation, <clears throat> we are receiving the order confirmation. So the same, you are receiving order confirm mobile message as well as your Gmail account. How many applications playing in between? Your Amazon is the application we don't know which technology and whatever the product which you're selecting in the, like mobile or whatever it may be, that is also someone has to provide the uh, details. That is also we don't know which technology. And you are entering to the bank details and internally your bank application communicating and bank applications also technology was implemented but we don't know how, which technology were implemented and finally your payment has been confirmed so you are receiving the amount details confirmation parallelly immediately you are receiving the order confirmation details who will send the order confirmation details vendor application is sending the order application sorry order confirmation as well as if you have any clarification you are going to call to the customer care number and finally the delivery guy is coming and deliver the product so see how many applications in this case your bank application your amazon application your vendor application your customer care your delivery example concept of five applications so all these five applications are different technology it was built but we don't know which technology they were implemented but finally we are receiving the order confirmation with a fraction of seconds because of integration tools so integration tools are independent of the technology so there is no limitations to transfer the data to the multiple applications any kind of technology which is available in the market we can easily integrate the application but these many applications are communicating if you are using without integration tools it is a complexity of the integration so so that is the reason so integrate more application using point to point one to one applications only if you are using that is bit of complexity we cannot exchange the data multiple system without integration tools so that is the reason integration tool is independent of the technology any kind of technology example currently there is a latest tech of python so in going forward there is a latest technology which is a python plus example we can easily integrate on there is a technology the legacy technology which is available in the 10 years ago now if you want to integrate 10 years ago technology also we can integrate on so that is the reason integration tools are independent of the technology any kind of technology which is available currently and going forward and the past also we can easily integrate to transfer the data one application to other applications so limitation is without integration tool one to one but nowadays when you open any page we don't know how many technologies are coming internally we are processing our request and getting the response because of integration tools are available to easily integrate the application to exchange the data one application to application or one to one or one to many applications also any clarifications here okay so these are the one of the drawbacks like uh, problems to the point to point integration so point to point integration one reason is one limitation is one to one applications but one more point uh, here like uh, changes message producer and point you are which is change the message consumer what is the meaning of this one is example consider as a uh, like NFT transactions uh, like icc bank and the hdfc bank like initially like uh, they both are not using like any integration product so without integration tool uh, the icc bank and neft bank is transfer the data without integration tools but going forward icc bank decided there is a latest technology which is available in the market that 
technology technology will give the best uh, quality of product whatever it may be i say hsbc bank decided to migrate with the technology but in this cases as icc bank should migrate then only a nft transaction will be happening but icc bank decided that they, they they don't want to migrate the latest technology whatever the current behavior it is available keep it as as it is but hsbc bank is migrated then what to do I, I, if icc bank wants to exchange the data then icc bank should migrate otherwise they completely losing the business of hsbc transactions so that is also one of the reason people are choosing the product so technology is not a standard the technology is a keep on exchanging like nothing but introducing they are adding the new products but sometimes some tech application they are still migrating some applications they are not decided to migrate due to commercial part also due to any other reason people are not decided to migrate but completely they are losing the business to transfer the data to the applications that is also one of the reason so changes in message producer and endpoint address like whatever the technology application which you are exchanging if they currently both are using the java technology like they successfully exchange the data but icc bank decided there is a latest technology sorry hcc bank decided there is a latest technology which is available in the market that give the best to the customers only so they are decided to migrate on but if we are migrating i told you that everything has been changed like behavior and everything has been changed then icc bank should migrate then only successfully transfer or icc bank will lose the business so this is also one of the reason people are changing even though icc bank is not migrated with the latest technology but still icc bank wants to transfer the data after migration of hcc also integration tool is sitting in the middle place to collect the data icc bank currently both are java java technology a exchange the data but going forward application b in a timbete it is migrate the data technology even though i would like to transfer the data can it possible yes because of integration tool it is possible but without integration tool if you are using it is not possible because technology is different nothing but everything communication protocol and everything it has been changed so if it is migrate everything should be migrate then only successfully transfer the data that is one of the reason people are choosing the product as an integration product and if we want to exchange to different applications like uh, one application other applications so uh, different technology means different communication is different what is meant by communication example if we want to transfer the data of salesforce system salesforce system communication is different if we want to transfer the data hsp sorry uh, sap system sap communication is different like a dot net technology java technology like python or uh, azure aws any kind of technology communications are different like communication difference means we are not delivering the data to the physical we are sending the data through network so network and nothing but as a communication is required the communication based upon based upon the technology it is unique so that is what if a message producer consumers are exposed to different protocols so communication protocol is different only so without integration tool both should be the same technology or communication everything is same if it is technology is different communications are so different only so that is also one of the reason people are choosing the product as an integration only always one to one communications only one to many cannot possible but even though currently using the one to one communications but going for if they migrated to any other new feature new technology everything has been changed uh, accessing your all change the communication your all change and message type what is meant by message type here only so each technology like salesforce service you know, or sap system java dot net python anything if we want to transfer your data to that corresponding application which is using any one of the technology the communications also different accepting the data also different like a data also different means like a salesforce system salesforce structure is different to accepting your request sap system means sap structure is different like a java structure is different dot net 
or a uh, like service now that is called message type now. message contain your information the type also different now. like example if we open the notepad like notepad is the once you whatever the content which are including you are saving as a text format that is format of the file the matter message type the technical integration terminal we calling as a message type like excel format uh, like notepad format word format uh, not only these formats only in the market there are so many formats are available that each technology one format they are accepting when you are sending the data to the system like this is called dotnet this is called java so simply you cannot send it so if you are different only in between communication is different so whatever you are like nft terms we are using like that contain your bank beneficiary details and your account details whatever it may be the contain information dotnet application is accepting there is a structure of the content on it that is example consider as a application b nothing but dotnet technology i am only accepting excel format imagine excel format so we need to send application b as an excel excel, excel format so each technology the accepting of the data structure also different that as a integration developer needs to identify which format the corresponding application is going to be accepting before sending the data to the system that is called message type is unique and one more point is single single point of failure what is meant by single point of failure single point of failure means if you are communicating multiple systems we don't know one to one or one to many if something happening while transfer your data like example that's a very frequent we are also facing amount has been created in your account only, but the order has not confirmed then what to do you are calling to the customer care hey this is amount has been detected but my order was not confirmed then they are going to chasing and identify which application got error then give the solution it may processing two three days or they are going to refund your back to amount that is called single point of failure if any application if you are communicating something happening we can easily identify which application got failed then we are taking necessary action whether it is reprocess your data or refund the data only. that is the single point of failure only so this is called esb nothing but the enterprise service pass the integration tool they're calling we communicating to the multiple applications only if something happening like uh, any kind of network issue or data issue any other reason we can easily identify so that is what esb nothing but enterprise service book bus, bus integration tools is used to eliminate the drawbacks of the point to point integration so drawbacks nothing but even though if we are using one to one both the technology is different communication is different format is different anything is different we can easily integrate or if we want to integrate a number of applications also we can easily integrate even though they are migrating with the new technology new features still your business is going to be communicate smoothly because of integration also these are the specific reasons people are choosing the integration product to exchange the data on it. that is one to one or one to many also even abibus or a red bus or make my trip we are open so make my trip or abibus in the one application and internally we don't know like uh, example currently if you open abibus very simple today we, we are able to see that 20 of travel applications but going forward 21 also they're easily adding on because your request is sending to multiple technology because each technology like uh, APS RTC, TS RTC, any other private travels, they have uh, their own web application they built, but there is a best way instead of logging to the multiple applications, Abibus is sending the request to the multiple applications, collecting the data and displaying the Abibus side. Because each technology, each, each application they are using the each different technology, but we don't know how many technologies they use they build that applications only 
but still we are communicatable even though if something they are migrating but your business is communicating because of integration tools so these are the main advantages of the integration tools it's a one to one or one to many applications even though they are migrating still i would like to exchange the data i don't want to lose my business integration tools are sitting in the middle place collecting the data and exchange the data from one to one or one to many applications <clears throat> any clarifications oh. so if i want to implement integrations like uh, what are the things main components is required to build an a uh, to integrate the applications so one is uh, adapter and the transformation and routing and filter this is the integration terminology what is meant by adapter so adapter is nothing but a like uh, it's a connector so this is called example consider as a, this is a dotnet application this is the partner system consider as a java application so so this is the place like integration tools are sitting nothing but a middle they are sitting the integration tools always sitting in the middle place so whenever you are logging to the example very simple nft consider nft you are logging to the ics bank you are entering your details the details first initially storing into the customer data so customer data is nothing but a crm application so your dot net application nothing but a your ics bank CRM application accepting the format is different, correct. But once you enter your details, your details is going to be inserted in the CMR, CRM application. Directly cannot. As I told you, sitting in the middle place. So sitting in the middle place means first .NET application, once you log in, submit, there is a connector is required in this place. Adapter is nothing but a connector. Connector is nothing but a general word transport connections like once you submit your request internally this connector is collecting the data or nothing but a transport like uh, uh, we are using a physically transport any two wheeler three wheeler that is physically the technical terminology they are calling as a connector so connectors is the place where we are not writing any business logic just establish the connection whatever the data which you are publishing here this connector will collect and hand out to the middleware system that is called integration tools first job is your data is going to be inserting to the the whatever the data which you are entering submit inserting the any technical example crm application so after collecting the data integration tool now i would like to deliver the data to the crm application okay again crm application connector is required each technology connector is required to carry the data so very simple in the general world like uh, when you if you want to deliver any product like uh, any like physical like a small product any big product we are using the example consider the dttc the courier office we are going to hand over your product to the courier office consider as a uh, middleware tool as a courier office how we are going to hand over either you are going by walk or two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler, whatever it may be you are choosing the transport and hand out to the courier office then after simply collecting uh, after collecting the courier office what courier what they are going to do they are going to customize your data customize nothing but uh, the state or country or region or whatever it may be they are doing their job and once it is filtering as a completed the again they are using one more transport to deliver the data to the system so simply once you hand over your courier they are not delivering only they are going to identify to whom i need to deliver what is the state village or whatever it is they are going to do their end once it is completed again they are going to use the connector or transport to deliver the data to the system if it is available successfully deliver if it is not available again back to the transport again receiving the uh, courier again courier back identify after seeing your address using the corresponding transport to deliver the data to the system this is called physically which are happening in the real time world this is called technically which is happening only. that's just i'm narrating only the courier and all these things so transport here transport can carry any kind of data based upon your product you are going to choose 
the transport but transport doesn't know what kind of data you are carrying any kind of data carrying on the technology also this is a small message or images attachments big files any kind of data the transport can carry there is no logic in this place we used to write just we are established the connection once you submit it is collecting and handover is uh, integration tools so connector is always is an active status only if it is inactive once you submit dotnet application connector cannot process your data because of it should be an active one the, because always which is running the network network should, should be always is an active then only the data is going to be hand over here only so dotnet application if you are using dotnet connector is required sap connect technology we are using sap connector is required or like uh, a salesforce system service no system any kind of technology which is available in the market connector is required only based upon the connector we are using to collect the data hand over the middleware system who develop these connectors whatever the integration tool which you are using those integration tool is the responsible to develop the connectors we are not bother about that the integration tool is is responsible to develop the connector yes i am using salesforce to service no system salesforce connector is required service no connector is required so that is the advantage of the connectors connectors are nothing but a collecting the data once you submit an example now i am logging to the icc bank enter beneficiary details immediately submitting connector is accepting your data so connector is keep on monitoring to the corresponding application once you submit is simply collecting hand out to the middleware system then what the middleware system like integration tool will do yes which application do i need to transfer what is the behavior of that application what is the communication that application will do to deliver all these things which are going to do nothing but a routing and transformation so one is adapter is the technical word that is called generally the transport or nothing but a connector easily understanding the word to collect the data once you are submitting once it is collecting hand out to the uh, data to the integration tool the job is completed then what integration will identify yes this is the data which i am receiving and i would like to deliver the data to the corresponding application what kind of data that accepting like format or connector or anything all this customization we can do inside the integration tools that we are learning during the training session example if you are deliver the data to the crm system what is the behavior of the crm system what is the communication of the crm system what is the format crm system is going to be identify all these things which are using to combine like implementing to deliver the data like example i told you right with the courier after receiving the data what is the state what is the village so all these things there and whatever the uh, customization they want they are going to do one successfully deliver the data to the receiver by using the transport the technical terminology also what is the application what is the connector what is the format all these things which are going to do inside the integration tools we can deliver the data one technology one format so example dotnet technology sending the data to very simple xml format so that is the behavior only we should use we we do not have any rights to modify so dotnet technology if i am using the dotnet technology or if i am communicating the dotnet technology as a integration developer first need to understand what is the communication what is the format example dotnet technology saying that hey i am sending my data uh, like xml format again now you are sending the data to crm system example crm system sending saying that i am accepting the data excel format very frequently we are using xml excel format. then what to do integrate this connector it doesn't matter if you are sending the xml if you are sending the excel whatever it may be it just doesn't matter it is accepting this connector hand out here 
now integration we are the developer we need to identify a crm system behavior so excel xml format data systems in like a partner system accepting excel format we are going to do the transform this is called transformation to ta to transform the data from one format to other format that we can take it in the inside the integration tools that is called transformation to transform the data from one format to other format we can take it on see like uh, we are doing the trans online transaction all this happening within the sec fraction of seconds only but how many applications in between playing i told you five application example but five application five different communication different format all these things we can successfully communicate and deliver the data this is called transformation only to transform the data from one application to other application we can do inside the integration tools the connector is simply collecting the data and hand over it it doesn't matter it it won't bother what kind of format it's sending you are requesting to the connector to closely monitor the application whatever the customer will do to collect and hand over to me the integration tool will collect it. yes i would like to send the data to the crm system crm system we have we need to identify using the corresponding connector in between we are doing the transformation to deliver the data to the system and other point is a routing the routing is nothing but i told you like one to one do i need to route to the system or one to many do i need to route to the system like example one to uh, route to the system means like uh, we are receiving the mobile message gmail message only that is you are going to route to the two different systems only. two different system if you notice that i told you in the starting house the text message and the gmail message the content is common almost but structure of the message is different like your mobile context and text and gmail only. who will take care integration will take care that is called routing to the system to route to the system what is the behavior of the two different systems how we are going to deliver all these things which are going to identify which are going to do inside the integration tools that abibus also we are delivered to route to the multiple systems only. multiple system multiple connectors are coming multiple formats are coming multiple structure is coming so as an integration developer need to identify all these things to deliver the data so one is adapter nothing but a connector without connector there is no communication only. connector is mandatory who develop these connectors nothing but a transport whatever the integration tool which are using those integration is the responsible to develop all these products only connectors only okay and routing and transformation which are doing okay any clarifications here let me okay <clears throat> so when to use and when not use as integration i told you right this is a one to one communication and same kind of format same kind of communication if we want we can use if we are not using also we can easily exchange but both are independent then definitely we should use as an integration product otherwise we cannot do that that is what they mentioned only one to one communication means limitations only all are same like both technology both whatever the uh, two different applications we are exchanging all are same then only possible but nowadays we don't know which technology application we are communicating internally so like we without integration tool you cannot exchange that data only then what are the different integration tools are available in the market so there are a couple of integration tools are available in the market now we are discussing the milsoft only so milsoft is the one of the integration products the integration tools are available already in the market they are already integrated the application then why i am using this product in nowadays because what are the integration other integration means like uh, tico sorry Tico is the one of the integration product like uh, sorry Tico like Oracle Fusion, Oracle Company, Oracle Fusion, like a Dell Company, like a Boomi, like now we are learning the Milsoft is the Salesforce product. 
soft like this like uh, there are so many uh, like integration products are available in the market okay so why i am using this product oracle company the product fusion dell company like boomi ibm company the product is a, a mb message broker okay so like a tip by the company the product called tip Pro. these are the integration tools like a very famous integration products in the market not only this and other integration tools are also available but these are the products which are using customers very frequently but these integration tools which is already using the customer they integrate the application then why Millsoft is the product because Millsoft uh, the product the owner is Salesforce so this is the Salesforce product and this is a Salesforce company the product name called Millsoft uh -huh. like IBM is the company the product called MB Dell is the company product name called Boomi and Oracle is the company product name called Fusion like this it is one but why I'm using because they're already occupied they're already using then why I'm going to use it because if I want to enter into the market I'm going to identify who is my competitor what is the best they are doing then I, on top of that I'm giving then only customers are choosing my product otherwise they can't correct right the mills of the competitor is tipco why tipco because tipco is give the uh, best solution to integrate uh, the complexity of the integration so complexity means like 1 to 100 also we can integrate 1 to 10 also we can integrate 1 to 1 also integration so tipco is the best solution previously when come to the Minsoft, tipco most of the companies are using because when compared to other integration tools they are not giving the such behavior quality of water maybe so tipco product customers are using but before meals tipco is a very expensive product very very expensive product but the quality is very good so that is the reason when compared to the other integration tools customers are using the product called tipco nowadays like when millsoft enter into the market millsoft is not a open source product only it is also chargeable amount but when come to the tipco it is amount is vary okay and also Millsoft is like uh, uh, multiple behaviors only, like multiple behaviors. Example, I would like to integrate one application. I would like to integrate one application. But mine is running this very small organization. I do not have a money to buy the product. But I notice that typically the product is given the quality. But it is an expensive product. But I do not have any money. What to do? Then I am going to figure out like any other technology which is offering any opens or any other things I am going to think of. But when come to the meal soft only, so I do not have any money to buy, then the software which is available now we can download directly, we can integrate the application. So, but the only difference if you are without buying the product, if you need any support, meal soft is not providing. But I, this is small integrations. I don't want to uh, buy the product. Can I integrate? Millsoft is supporting, but the same feature which is not available the Tipco. If we want to integrate small piece of work also, Tipco should be by product. But the whatever the Tipco uh, features, all the features Millsoft is providing. So previously, the quality point of people are considering only the Tipco will give on top of extra features also Millsoft is adding because Millsoft competitor is Tipco. So they are giving the best tool on top of Tipco, then only customers are choosing. As if I want to buy the product, first I need to understand, the, uh, I need to identify the quality of the product and cost of the product, security of the product, and uh, like a behavior advantage and all these things, factors we are going to identify, which is product, which product is available in the market, then we are going to calculating to buy any product to integrate the applications. So quality wise, security wise, like user friendly and what is called cost wise and other features also. Like when they enter into the meal soft, like it is cloud and non-cloud mechanism also. But typical like recently, like two years ago, they are making the cloud. Previous it is a non-cloud mechanism. But cloud is very expensive. Cloud is very expensive. But I do not, because I am buying the product, but I am not interested to buy the cloud. Then what to do? The Millsoft is providing non-cloud mechanism also. So nowadays each technology is micro the cloud only. If the cloud is very expensive, but mine is small organization. Then what is the other way? 
can I use without cloud means of yes we can use it and I told you like uh, uh, without buying the product once you integrate then your integration should be available in online again server is required to deploy the application and Millsoft is providing open source server also you can easily deploy your application you can integrate the application so these are the factors like uh, available in the when come to the other integration tools means after the product is going to be support with compared to the other integration tools like quality wise that is what they mentioned here why merely has been merely has been a, uh, uh, take a complexity of the integration like nothing but a one to one also one to many uh, 10 20 100 implicate integrations also we can integrate by using the that is the reason there is the complexity of the integration and the developer is a user friendly tool uh, like uh, easily we can understand uh, to build your applications only it is a high performance and it is a security also very important right when you are exchanging the data to one application application security also very important only it is a multi protocol like as i told you if you are using any integration product like uh, connectors are required only. so whatever the millsoft is providing the connectors those connectors which is not available still in other things it's a multi-protocol interaction between the systems and services. It is not a completely open source product only. Like uh, I told you that these are the differences they are going to differentiate. I'm using a small piece of work. I would I don't want to use as integration. I don't want to buy the product. Then we can use the open. We can directly download it. We can integrate the application. After your development has been completed, then what to do? It should be available in the online. We need to deploy. Again, server is required. So cloud, so cloud you can apply expensive, non-cloud also. Uh, I need to invest the money, but I need, mine is a small organization. I do not have money to buy. How can I make it use as a real-time world? Like nothing but yeah, online. We can open source product is available. We can simply apply. We can integrate the application. So, so these are the advantages are available uh, when come to the other integration products. Nowadays, when soft is using most of the organizations so it's a completely sales force only and also sales force who are buying the sales force meal soft is they are giving the free cost of free of cost of meal soft and who are buying the meal soft sales force is providing the free of cost of sales force that is also one of the reasons only so this is a completely sales source product only. so these are the factors that are available so that is the reason nowadays meal soft is the product people are using to integrate the applications so, any doubts here this is one question here. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, uh, I mean, in, I mean, we, when we are using, suppose uh, uh, there is one organization want to integrate uh, uh, with the Minsoft and uh, integration is completed, maybe, I mean, couple of months. So, so I'm just, I mean, uh, checking how much uh, the role we have to play as a developer there. So once integration is done, so job is done, right? So after that, so what is the use of those developers there? So integration, those developers, I understand. So we are always like uh, features are adding, feature uh, new features are adding to integrate the application. Example, like uh, we are built as a services, on, as a API services. On. So customer point of view, they want to integrate, they want to add that because example, if I develop any web applications, so consider any technology. Like I, in, we are keep on adding the new features also. Like correct, right. the same features which is integrated other applications also. So there is no end of here only. So whatever example I develop when web, web applications only. Are we going to stick that same features? We are keep on adding the new features also. When you are adding the new features, the same feature should be supported with other technology also. Correct. Then again integration tool is required. Integration developers is required to integrate applications. If you example like a, a very simple one, I, I will tell you. Now NFT transfer very very simple which we are discussing. Now there is a web application which you are develop, customer details adding on it. Now the same customer details you are going to insert into the CRM application. Your job is completed. Integration developers also completed. Again the web application the guy is decided there are new columns that they need to add. Again developer is required. But the same feature which is available to the uh, CRM application also. Right? Again, integration developers also. Got my point. Got it. 
if time is given. So features are adding, and again the same feature should be reflected in the other technology also. So the, that is the reason. The the count of the uh, developers is when come to the web application example, the developer Java guys are working as a 10, 20, but integration guys are as a fifth, five or six members. But continuously, they are doing the enhancements. The same feature should be supported other technology also. We are also doing the same. That is the, that is the uh, sequence of happening. And we are also developers only. Like uh, we are calling as integration developers or EA developers only. So sometimes people are asking what is the role which are playing. We are also one of the developers. The calling as an integration developers or EA team only. So they used to integrate the applications as in n number of applications or any technology of the application. So, so that is what the meals of these like uh, so cloud based applications also. So any kind, kind of technology it is going to be supported SaaS applications and like uh, uh, any kind of technology. So it is going to be supported. I told you right it is independent of the technology as I told you starting also. So currently one technology going forward is available also. I would like to migrate it is going to be supported okay so what we are going to do as an integration like example as a developer point of view like a uh, like a java developer uh, a dollar what they are going to there is to write the line of code each line of code there is a behavior so we are going to learning example how to uh, write a program so uh, that contain how many lines is required to write a program correct at the integration point of view we are going to develop the flows so flow contain components on flow contain components so how to develop the program in the development point of the uh, java point of i'm talking how to develop the flows that is integration point of view what information you require you are going to writing the line of code we are adding the components of multiple components one egg one line of code one program that contain 20 30 lines each line there is a behavior finally it will satisfy the your requirement the same way one flow if you are developing multiple components is required each component there is a behavior we used to add the multiple component to fulfill the data again i'm telling you simply collecting and delivering there is no point to use of any integration tools like pass through but while doing the pass through there is a customization required that customization to implement multiple components are supported each component there is a behavior what is the component this is the scenario which component is going to be supported to adding the multiple component to become making as a flow that we are going to discussing during the training session like uh, connectors and transformation and how to build, develop a flow and how to add the component to build a flow all these things which are going to discussing during the training session so like example this is the source application ICC bank this is the dotnet application you are submitting a request you are sending the data to the dotnet application we build a flow a build a flow means like we are adding the multiple components to a complete and finally we are going to deliver the data simply pass through means without all these things without this set we can deliver here but there is a customization required at database level then we need to support the same we are going to adding the multiple components so what we are going to develop or what we are going to do as integration product is a developing is a flow again like not only means other integration tools also same behavior like if you are if you are using the tipco if you are using the dell if you are in the ibm products also same kind of behavior but the advantage is different we are always developing the flows 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 that contain multiple components okay so what is meant by flow the flow is nothing but a, like message nothing but the data message nothing but the data passing from different application one flow one flow is going to be supported to transfer multiple applications that is what carrying data from message provider and message consumer so we can carry the data this is provider consumer this is consumer 
we can carry the data provided to consumer by using the flow we can communicate on and while carrying the data it may transform route and filtering on after carrying the data after collecting the data from here we what inside the flow what we are going to do to transform the data to route to the data to filter the data all these things we can do inside the flows by using the corresponding component which is available into the tool we can drag it and complete it. we can deliver the data that is called like uh, carrying the data and single flow can integrate number of applications so again i'm telling right one flow once you develop if we can integrate n number of applications and it's a configuration xml that is we can discuss going forward so this is called flow only the flow is nothing but the way we are going to write in the business logic that contain multiple components is required each component there is a behavior so we are not writing any like a component that is a completely drag and drop product only. the components we are going to selecting and dragging do the customization to add multiple components to add the multiple configurations once is once it is completed then we can deliver the data to the system so this is called connector so as i told you this is called connector consider as your icc bank application consider your icc bank application once you enter the data your data is going to be inserting here only first connector is required this connector nothing but a transport or adapter it is collecting the data hand out to the integration tool inside the integration tool we can use filtering transferring or uh, all these things which are going to do once it is completed again using the connector to deliver the data to the system so what component is required this is the requirement this component is required so any customization any enhancement going forward all these things we are going to do here we can discussing that during the training session connectors what is meant by connectors what what is meant by components what is meant by flow how to integrate the irrespective of the technology all these things which i am going to discuss in during the training session any clarifications here so like this is a, a old uh, product only this is yeah go ahead sir sorry 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 so uh, so what kind of coding knowledge is required and how much is required i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you uh, uh, any other thing apart from this one clarification i will clear i will do that yeah. okay 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 sure okay so this is called component this is called image only normally calling as a component this component is uh, we used to drag it and uh, once drag it we can do the customization and we can deliver to the system so in between we can do multiple component two tools okay so as i told you said completely drag and drop tool again okay. so what kind of languages which are using here only so where it is required first of all language required means to transform the data like I, as i told you each technology uh, like uh, uh, example i told you right uh, xml to excel format icc bank sending the content is xml format like uh, uh, stcm accepting the excel format of example i'm talking about but inside the content whatever the data you are enter is submitting so usually like any web application once you enter like example i would like to sign up any page so you are logging to the icc bank you are sign up all these things submit your request internally your your data is going to be converting one format okay so the format is nothing but a xml format the same for your data is going to be inserting into the crm application again crm application saying that hey i am not accepting as xml format i am only accepting as a excel excel format before sending to me please convert xml format and send it to me this is called transformation while doing the transformation there is a language is required the language name called data view language data view language this is the mule soft own language this is not a programming language okay this is the syntactical basis each integration tool they have their own language tipco xpop using ibm also there is one more language like oracle also there is a one language and the mule soft also using the language name called data view language where it is required while doing the transformation from one application to other application 
may be one to many applications. All the applications are different technology and different technology means different formats is required to transform the data. Data we language is required. This is the means sub to own language, which is not available in the market. It's a, not a programming language, which is a syntactical basis, the syntax which is means of is providing. Mm -hmm. We can use the syntax, we can do the transformation. This is the only place which you are using uh, like a data we language, the program uh, is a, like logical point of I'm talking about. So entire work course, this is the only place where we are using as a logical thinking in the data we language. Is it clear, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So this that's all. Uh, like uh, uh, just my intention is like uh, overview of the integration, like uh, where we are using, and uh, what is the advantage of the integration products? What are the different integration tools are available, and uh, what is the use of? Oh, because I am learning something. What is the best character? Right? So what is the will soft advantage? This is. Just like a overview, like integrations, like a tomorrow onwards, like I'm going to explain what are the software is required and uh, uh, what are the topics like which I'm going to covering all these things from tomorrow. Onwards. Just like a, uh, like a today, like an introduction about the integration, because we are learning the tool called integration tool as a means of means of integration. What is the integration? We are using the integration things in the real time or where we are using. That is what just I have given the overview. Any clarifications, any doubts, you can let me know. I'm ready to clarify. Uh, yes, Shankar, I do have a small question. So, yes, do we sir. require this uh, CRCD pipelines as well, like Jenkins and Marvins? To work uh, with that is right. Now, nowadays, like uh, people are deploying applications, CRCD tools only. And, uh, even integration, the once development has been completed, we can use the CRCD tools. But without CRCD tools, also, we can deploy the application. But nowadays, 99% uh, customers are using CSE tools. So that is we are using Azure DevOps or uh, GitLab, Jenkins. Any uh, DevOps tool is going to be support to deploy our application. Uh, no, why I'm asking these questions is like I don't have any knowledge in when it comes to the this API and XML and all. <laughs> so is this right? I do understand. I, I, I understand because people are learning the integration. So most of the people are not aware. We will do the uh, uh, like very detailed manner how to integrate the application. So don't worry about that. I will explain very detailed. So I can see some of the job descriptions are they are asking about these uh, Java concepts as well. So it is mandatory to know the code Java required. at least. Is, no, not required because the older version like. Uh, uh, the 3.8 versions, 3. That I am going to give the clarification tomorrow only. Just uh, anyway, uh, 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 you, uh, you are asking the question, right? The older version, like the 3. Before Salesforce was not by the because Salesforce, I think 2018 was uh, Salesforce take over the mill software. Before that, most of the uh, features it was implemented Java only. I understand because when coming to the market, like the Tipco, I told you Tipco is a competitor. Right? Tipco people are not writing any Java logic. So why again Millsoft also using without Java product? Because that is completely remove the Java concepts. Whatever we are doing, the, like uh, the transformation, mainly people are using the transformation level. So Millsoft introducing to data view language, whatever the Java features is required previously to completely remove by using uh, data view language to work on this one. So don't worry about that. Even I'm not, I'm also not explaining any Java code. We are completely without Java code. We can integrate the application, not required as a Java. But previously it was there. That is a older version, but like a 4.x version. Uh, after sales or takeover, they completely remove the Java. What are the Java features are supported previously? They are introducing that tip. Sorry, data view language to support that. Uh, is it clear, sir? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, one more question. Uh, so, what are the prerequisites required? Not installation point of view, but uh, as per the knowledge or understanding point of view. Uh, knowledge, nothing but like most of the type, like there is no mandatory to learn any prerequisites only. 
so if you want to like understanding point of your services what is meant by services what is meant by apis uh, that is a prerequisite zone that is not a mandatory also i used to explain every detailed manner if you want to go ahead then uh, happily you can like just to go through the what is the apis and all but why i'm asking this question because i'm from the non technical background so i even don't know the program yeah i understand i understand i got it so, i got it so how much it will be comfortable or easy for me to learn no no not required so that is what i'm trying to say that uh -huh. it is not a mandatory uh, to learn the prerequisites also so we can easily uh, learn uh, even though if you are not uh, do the any prerequisites we are completely concerned with the tool how to use the tool how to uh, implement the flows what are the things is required so only the point is logical point like uh, any technology you are learning logical is required right and the only place is the data we language where we are using logically where you need to concentrate on the rest of the things you can smoothly uh, going on and how this course is i mean design i mean only three part and you will be showing this in prakash discuss just uh, i am just trying to only course duration is 45 hours uh, that is what i will explain that the clarification the duration components and everything in tomorrow class also anyway duration is course is 45 hours uh, uh, i mean daily one hour do you mean or 45 days uh, uh one hour sir one hour okay so it approximately one and a half month right ha uh, yes correct and i mean does this can I mean, course is also considered any project after the end or even during during this course also we are getting some hands on and uh, no, no, i didn't understand the question can you repeat the question uh, does it consider any projects also the course uh, yes so yes that, that is a part of this on? everything i am going to explain the projects and everything on and uh, after finish the course i will give mm -hmm. the some experience of uh, real time projects which i am working on so that i am going to share that so that is a part okay, of and during okay okay and during i mean each class after each class also will there be any hands on any small yes correct i give the some work assignment work that... yes correct yes yes correct i'll give the some assignments to do the practice only if you have any clarification okay. uh, then we can discuss the next day session okay and and uh, i mean at the end of the course where we can see ourselves i mean it is like a level 1 certification we, we will be ready to give yes or... can clear the uh, the two certifications after completion of course level 1 certification ap certification also there is a ap one more certification you can easily clear, clear the certification okay, so api is level 2 okay no development certificate that is if you get a, because they are asking for the mcd level 1 certification if you have an hands on completely hands on mm -hmm. then you can clear the mcd 2 also because mcd 2 they are recently introducing and previously there is no mcd 2 only means of developer certification they only one certification that is developer after that they are introducing that uh, uh, previously it was there only mcd level 1 api integration architect platform architect uh, so whatever i, uh, I am giving the training you can clear the two certification that is more than enough then once you uh, uh, get a hands on like if you are entering a project you get a hands on you can clear the rest of the two as well okay. and i mean are we getting any reference document or the training recordings as well so that we can a uh, daily we are sharing time. the recording after finish the session prakash mm -hmm. sir is sharing the recording sessions to your mail id sir okay okay sure uh the okay. session in terms of uh, career prospective like uh, this microsoft has a good career rate right, as it is a, uh, integrated with the cloud platform is correct sir so can you point that is what integration tools are not available in the market on not, not not only now it is running the very big if you have a web application integration tool is required without integration tool there is no online application sir correct if you open any page definitely integration tool is required whether you are using mail sort whether it is a tipco whether it doesn't matter without integration tool there is no online application integration application example very simple so this you integration know, tools and util tools both are the different uh, like uh, or similar kind of no that is what simple pass through there is no point integration tools because couple of uh, tools are available they are simply passing through only but integration tool is customization required so that is the reason main integration is concentrated more to is okay in the market there is a couple of tools like uh, 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 what is called one minute sir.
So sorry, sorry to say. So like a simple pass through, there is no point of any integration tool. ETL tools also available. They pass through. But while doing the customization, integration tool is the mandatory one. That is a one to one also, one to many applications also. Because that is what currently latest technology people are saying, example, Azure or AWS or uh, Python only. Currently available. After two years, there is one more technology which is available in the market. Still, we can extend the data integration tool. Even that uh, 10 years ago, there is a, a old technology which is available. Still, so many applications people are using that uh, older tech, that is a legacy tech. <coughs> we can integrate the applications. Um, hey Shashank, I have I have two questions. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, so uh, you are telling about the certification, right? So one, I understand there is a level one certification. Well, what is the API certification? That I don't see anything called API. <coughs> the API is nothing but a services, application programming interface. No, 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 you are saying that there is another level of certification that will you cannot we can pass. Uh, that's API certification you you mentioned, but I don't see it in the Millsoft website. No, no, no. Millsoft website we are developing the API soft. Okay, API is in nothing but the services to use the to build the services we by using the integration tool we are using. We are all sorry. We are always developing the service system that contains API. So if you want, you can go through that. What is API? How to use the uh, uh, Mills up as an API? So if you want, you can go through that. So, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. no I, didn't, I think I think I was not clear with my question. No, no. My question was uh, my question mm -hmm. was not about what what is API. My question was you mentioned there are two certifications that we could clear after this training. Mm -hmm. One was level mm -hmm. one. What was the second one you mentioned? API, uh, uh, MCD level one and integration architect, platform architect, API only. So platform integration architect, okay, leave it. Developer point of view, APIs and MCD level one is sufficient. Okay, MCD platform architect API? level one. Okay, that's what you're saying. No, right? platform Wilson. architect, no, 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 I understand, sir. Do, uh, let me explain. MCD level one, developer certification. So we all okay. are developers. Okay, if you want to uh, uh, get a more like uh, architect level. Platform architect, integration architect. Three. Okay. One is four. API architect, uh, API certification. APIs are nothing but services. Services to build the services, means of support the language called RAML language. Restful API modeling language. By using this language, we can build an API. Okay. Just I will give the heads up what is meant. So how to write the RAML language to build a service? That is also means of is providing separate certifications. This is also part of the course which I'm going to explain in only what is meant by APS, what is RAM, and all these things only. So okay. once we can discuss a completion, then you can easily write the API certificate. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because in the Amulesoft uh, website, and when I go to certification, I don't see anything RAML. Maybe they don't they don't show it on the. No website. API. There is no RAML. They clearly mention API. Oh, so that, that is that's outside of it something okay okay yes yes, 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 yes. okay and um, I had one more question what was it um, um, so is is there some I mean you already explained uh, in the demo that is there something that Mulesoft wouldn't work for example you mentioned that file file transfer or web services so can we not connect web services with uh, Mulesoft? Yeah, that is also part of web services the main source. Services on that is what I told you. API is nothing but a services on soap services, red services on both will support on it. Means okay. Okay. I think, I think, I think I'm all set. Um, Yeah, so my my main motive is uh, so I've been working with Millsoft currently. I've just started um, working, so I have some uh, basic to intermediate knowledge, uh, but I would like to you know uh, get some advanced uh, concepts uh, mainly out of this course. Uh, I don't know whether I should 
join this course or is there any advanced course available and I, I didn't I need to talk about it but also i am i am uh, targeting on certifications so um, i'll be more than happy to talk about that later yeah yeah sure 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 any clarifications okay okay sir i hope you're clear okay so i'm going to start from regular classes tomorrow uh, with uh, like uh, tomorrow just i'm introducing the what is the course content is available what are the software is required how to install all these things i'm going to start from top of tomorrow onwards so that you'll get a more idea uh, like uh, just today just uh, i'll give the heads up like integration product okay so we'll continue tomorrow session uh, the same time okay okay sir see you see you tomorrow Thank you all.